Dr. Robert Falcone has had a successful career in medicine and business. He's been a surgeon, has headed up a major hospital, and is currently the CEO of the Ohio Hospital Association. Even with all of this professional success, he recently decided to go back to school for his MFA. This was not something completely out of the blue. Robert has been actively working as an artist and a musician his entire life. I was never going to be a good enough musician or artist to make a living, uh, an adequate living. And um, medicine gave me the opportunity to do both those things. I wasn't a working artist, so I didn't have anything to lose if people didn't like what I did. Um, I wasn't um, planning on making a living as an artist. Uh, I just wanted to be a better artist. Though art and medicine may not seem related, to Robert they are all interconnected. Art is um, very open um, and very um, subject to interpretation. Medicine is not rigid, but pretty codified. Um, the beauty about art is it helps make us more human, which I think makes me a better physician. I would think that at least uh, 60 percent of everything I've ever done in medicine was communicating, interacting, providing advice, providing guidance, um, providing support without ever, ever really doing anything else. And then maybe 40% of it was the technical side of medicine. And that part that was the human part is really informed by the arts. It makes me a better doctor, a better leader, a better citizen. Part of Robert's work was shaped by two tragedies. When he was driving home one night as an undergrad, he was hit by a drunk driver. When I was involved in that motor vehicle collision, and my girlfriend that was with me died, and I came pretty close to dying. Um, I decided right then and there I'd never waste another minute. Later on in his life, his wife, Ann Miller, who was also a surgeon and an artist, was killed in a car accident. These losses drew Robert to themes of suddenness and change. I had uh, some pretty interesting uh, images I shot in uh, Montana when I was um, driving there. And they were images of these wonderful landscapes uh, with big blue skies and these little white road crosses. Uh, apparently in Montana, the American Legion puts a road cross everywhere somebody dies. And actually on many occasions I'd stand there and I'd be pretty emotional because this is where somebody died. He used these ideas for his thesis show. Well, when I started my MFA, I was pretty comfortable painting. So I made the um, very discreet decision that I would change my practice. And I would go to something I knew very little about, and that's sound how to use sound to create uh, environments to tell a story. I got a friend, Richard Smoot, who's just a, an amazing musician and composer. I got him to craft me a contemporary chant and then somehow uh, managed to talk members of the Columbus Gay Men's Choir to learn and perform that piece. And as the crowd started to gather, the choir just started almost like a flash mob stepping up onto the risers. The uh, choir master clicked them in. Uh, and uh, they performed this piece. And then they left the stage. And the audience eventually left, and all that was left of this piece was a memory of that performance. Um, sc scuffs and scrapes on the drywall where they stood, the empty space, and a recording that I made of their performance that would loop intermittently. So if somebody came in that space, they'd have to really wonder, well, what happened here? Um, and that's really what I wanted to accomplish. Okay, so one minute you're alive and, and the next minute you're dead. So what does that mean? Since his wife's death in 1998, all of the sales of Robert's work has gone into Annie's fund. Robert's work is usually handled by the Duff Lindsay Gallery in Columbus, Ohio. I established a fund in her name uh, to fund artists that don't necessarily get funds and to fund organizations that don't necessarily get funds. We've raised, you know, I don't know, several, many hundreds of thousand dollars over the last 18 years and have given away probably between ten and fifteen thousand dollars a year every year since 1999. His most recent show featured paintings of parrots. I don't like birds, but they're beautiful. And I uh, wanted to paint a series of really beautiful birds and to make them look like 19th century prints, except they were oil on panel. Robert has also had shows featuring album covers, James Bond villains, botanical scenes, and many other themes. Uh, I usually start by just thinking, and it may be a couple months of thinking, and rethinking, and looking, and relooking, and then I'll do a fair amount of research when I pick a topic that I like. 
And um, once I pick that topic, um, and I do a fair amount of um, the thought process ahead of time, uh, painting is really pretty easy. On a daily basis, I may spend 30 minutes just staring into space. I think it's really important. For me, it's how, how I recharge my thinking, my creativity. Some people meditate, some people exercise. I just stare. It's cheap, it's easy, it doesn't usually hurt your joints or anything else. And, and it's, just a, it's just, for me, very regenerative. Robert is also a working musician and donates his profits from his band to Annie's Fund. For Robert, there is no separation between art and business. The arts and the creativity that they allow makes a huge difference in our day-to-day -day interactions. It's hard, at least for me, to communicate and to show empathy and to care if I don't have some human wrappings around my scientific core. And so I think it really helps. And a number of the bigger organizations are bringing artists into their and designers into their uh, C-suite for that specific purpose. I think that's a little artificial. I think it's better that the leaders have those skills in addition to the people they hire. I'm the luckiest person alive. I've had several really exciting lives. And I've lived them as best I can, and I've been really um, happy to say that most of them have been successful, and many of them have done good. So I mean, it's Perfect.